Alright folks, so tonight I'm doing a little bit of a movie review and I'm doing a hell of a movie review because I'm reviewing Fifty Shades Darker. Yes indeed, this supposedly sexual... F I don't even know what to call it. Alright, let me cut to the chase over here. This is complete fucking garbage. It feels like... I really don't even know how to describe it because apparently this was a... Uh, this was like a Twilight fan fiction that was like made into a, like an adult movie. It was like a book series and an adult movie. So, first of all, Twilight's fan fiction of Harry Potter. So, this is a fan fiction of fan fiction. So, that's like cyclic autism just like going around. And when I saw it, it, it read, it, it, it seemed like a fan fiction. The, the fucking girl's name is Anastasia. Like, who's named Anastasia? This is the year 2016 plus one. Let's be real. Nobody's named Anastasia. The guy's named, like, something great. I don't even give a, give a shit. I, I didn't see the first one. I'm going to go and be br brutally honest. So I, I don't know what that means. I'm a guy, so I'm obviously not the intended audience. But... When I, when I saw this movie, it was just, there was no point to it. Like, I was trying to go and see what the purpose was. The It starts out, there this woman, and apparently she was in a relationship with this sadistic guy who has apparently just, like, a bunch of these, like, ex-sex slaves of his running around San Francisco. And the main character is pretty much Elon Musk. And he, he's got, like, a shitload of money. He's got fucking cars, security guards, and this woman's a writer. Probably based... It was probably based off the person who wrote the, the fan fiction. Because she's, she's, like, a decent-looking girl, but she's nothing special. So I guess it's meant for women to go and put themselves into her shoes. And she's just, like, so boring. And she's like, oh, I go and work for some, like, publishing company, woohoo. And she's got this boss, and, you know, she's doing all right. And then this it starts out with them deciding to get back together. Because apparently they didn't really explain on it. I guess the first movie probably was all about this. They had some sort of relationship, and she was... It got, like, too kinky for her tastes. I don't know. But they end up getting back to the relationship. Her boss gets pissed off. Like, he 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 wants to go and fuck her. He gets pissed off when they go and have drinks at a bar. And then the uh, gray guy takes Anastasia away because he's a jelly motherfucker. You know, they end up having a couple sex scenes. And these sex scenes, you know, everyone's, like, making out to be, oh, this is such, like, a sexual thriller. Like, the sex scenes are fucking terrible. It feels like they just took, like, it was about as sexual as, like, a James Bond sex scene. You know, they talk about sex a lot, and I guess the movie is kind of a sexual movie, but, like, it, the sex scenes aren't even really that good or that graphic. It's just them kind of fucking in a sort of classy way. There's a couple titty shots, but to be honest with you, I've probably seen just as much titty in Euro Trip, and that was a much better movie. Going through, like, the plot doesn't really make much sense. Like, it's just all revolved around their kind of relationship. The guy ends up getting to, like, a plane crash near the end. The dude tries to, like, rape Anastasia, and he, like, the gray guy finds out about this, sends in his bodyguards, and he goes and gets uh, him to step down or fired or something. He ends up, like, at the very end of the movie coming back, and he's, I guess for the sequel, he's going to, like, try to kill her. This is kind of like this, it's definitely the, the feminist part because the whole thing was Anastasia is this independent woman who doesn't need to be submissive. It's like the whole plot of it is her being some sort of feminist because she wants to do her own thing and not be held down by a man even though he has like obscene amounts of money. Like this is completely unrealistic. The chances of any of this happening in the real world are like slim to none. Cause at, like at the end, it's like the two. She's got like the the old boss of hers fighting for her, and this like billionaire guy. And I guess you know another way to describe this movie. I remember I saw this story in the news. Some guy ended up like some girl ended up getting her boyfriend to fuck her sister while she was asleep because she was afraid of losing her virginity and people said that sounded like the plot to a hentai. Uh, well, I guess 
if that's what a plot to a hentai is, this would be be like a female hentai. Like this is just so so stupid. And then you know, and then the movie itself, this the actors and actresses, it just seems so fake. Like the names, it it's it's fake. There's the whole plot line. This guy has like all these ex sex slaves. And, like, one of them got really pissed off that he's with another woman. So she ended up, like, trying to go and put a bullet in her face. And he ends up saving her by telling her to kneel down. And I don't know, like, kind of, I, don't, I think she ended up, like, blowing him or something. Because she left after that. It doesn't really say. She doesn't really that pissed off. And in the end, she ends up, like, uh, accepting, like, he ends up proposing to her, essentially. And she accepts it. And this one woman who was like this MILF sex slave of his ends up, he ends up, uh, she en ends up like getting pissed off and like saying, oh no, you don't. She ends up throwing like her drink in her face. Like the fake mother slaps her because of course this guy has some tragic backstory. And he's also into incest because like all the women that he dates look like his mother originally did. His mother was like a drug addict. So th this is really pretty much just like, female hentai. I mean, that's the best way I can kind of describe it. Because with all the incest and just, like, the crazy shit that goes on in the sex scenes, you know, that, that's exactly what sounds like, except for it's not animated. That's the only thing that's different. The whole... Like, there's really no... Like, no real lesson to learn, except, like, I guess it's trying to go and push this, like, women don't need a man, and, like, you know, it's okay just going like, fuck people all the time, being a kinky shit... Which is another reason why I say this is this is kind of feminist propaganda, like feminist wet dream. So, in all honesty, it was a really shitty movie. I mean, you know what the shittiest part was? I ended up seeing this with a grind, and I didn't even get lucky tonight. Alright, this is Alexander, and I'm signing off.